So here is an example of a pure config related troubleshooting. So what do I mean by this? So this kind of a troubleshooting involves only fixing a configuration. That means we are not talking about Z programs. We are not talking about user exits. We're not talking about any kind of custom programming or programming logic. The challenge is to find out where exactly the missing configuration is and then go fix it. So let's talk about the scenario, the business scenario. Okay, in one of my projects, it somehow happened that during text determination, by the way, this scenario is related to text determination. So there was this customer, and this customer had two pieces of text. One text was related to the delivery note. One text is related to the invoice. And when you create a sales order for this customer, this sales order also has two texts. So the first text flew down here, the second text flew down from here. So both of these were from the sales view of the customer master. So the delivery related notes used to flow down to the sales order, the invoice related notes flow flows down to the sales order and when you create a delivery out of this similarly the same text used to flow down here and the same text used to flow down here so if there was any modifications here it used to flow down to the delivery and of course finally to the invoice so when you create an invoice from this delivery the same text used to flow down there one was the delivery note delivery note and the other is the invoice note and finally it used to be printed on the output so this is the scenario now the problem here is the original assumption was that some text could be modified here. So they go to the sales order line header level texts and they add text here. Let's say the user goes there and add some text here. It could be on top of what's already there in the customer master or it could be wiping off everything and starting clean. So some text used to be here. Let me change the color to say red. So there is some text that's here. There's some text that's here. And that text flows down to the delivery, right? And uh, the text used to be printed in the invoice. So, so far so good, but we have not expected a scenario where, I'm gonna change the color here again, where some of the users when doing the delivery could override this text and put something else. Naturally, the expectation from this is that this text, whatever is modified here, flows down to the invoice. And that was not happening. So what was happening? The text in the sales order used to flow down here. And the text in the sales order flows down here. And this was being ignored. It was staying there, but it was never flowing down to the subsequent document. That is the problem. So the user is expected to see this text in the delivery note of the invoice or the invoice note of the invoice and then see it on the printout, but that was not happening. Only this text was coming up. So how do we solve this? Let's try and troubleshoot this. Now, where do we start? So there is a delivery document, delivery document, and then it has a couple of texts text types and then there is an invoice or a billing document and it has the same two text types the first thing that we have to start is here because this is where the texts are missing so what is this text ID 
So that is text ID for this is Z001 and Z002. Now, first step, you go to the text determination procedure for this document type. Just to take an example, I'm saying ZF2. So go to the text determination procedure assign to the document type. Now, if this was at the line item level, you'd probably go to the item category. But this is a, at the document type level. So you go to ZF transaction VOTXN. Right? When I go there, I'll have text determination at the sales level, delivery level, billing level, blah, blah, blah. I go to the billing header and then pick up ZF2 and see that the text determination procedure assigned to it is ZF00. Okay, so I go there, I take this text determination procedure ZF00 and find out that it has Z001 and Z002. Okay, Z001 and Z002 text type so these are the two different text types at the header level of the invoice okay third step is let's go inside each of these text types for example z001 and they'll all have each of them will have what is called as an access sequence because this is where sap determines what is the source of this text so where is it coming from? Is it coming from the customer? Is it coming from the previous document? So on. So the access sequence for this was, let's say, 310 and 320. Now go to the access sequence 310. If you solve this, you can solve this as well. So I'm just taking one example. Go to the access sequence 310 and see what is the source. And the source would be listed in a sequence. The source would say VBBK. And then the text type would be Z001 or anything else that the previous document or previous text type has. So VBBK Z001 or the second option could be KNA1 or KNVV Z001. What this means is if it's not available here, get it from the customer. Okay. Now, V is typically sales, right? So what I thought was maybe this is wrong maybe I have configured it wrong so I went to my sandbox and I tried to modify this access sequence to start with LIKP or I was looking for a structure that represented the delivery header and then assign it to Z001 but SAP says this is not there so that means VBBK is the only structure and text during text determination that you can reference either the delivery or the order. There is no special structure for an order versus a delivery. So it's the same structure. So I have configured things right, still don't know where things are going wrong. So here is a solution. After much research, maybe you know one or two hours of fiddling around with the configuration, so what I have found is that the flow from order to delivery to billing of texts, especially the flow between delivery and invoice. This flow of text is configured in a little flag at the billing document type called delivery texts. So I went to Z ZF2, go to VOFA or the config for billing documents open ZF2 and all the way down below there is a flag that says delivery text or copy delivery text so I switched it on and then I went back over here in the same setting no changes over there and the text was being pulled automatically from the delivery through the invoice so this is an example of how you can resolve some of the things using just configuration.